Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're going to be playing Quadrilateral Cowboy. I am so impressed with this game. Everything that's gone into it, um, everything that we've done thus far, and I am ready for the next situation, which is the Abbey Yo-Yo Space Elevator. So this is the elevator, and this is the satellite. There's a brain box here, but for, we have to get from here to there. I've been looking over these, these drawings. So this is the actual elevator, and that's the satellite, of course. And we can see um, that the pictures are pretty much placed where things are happening. So there is a... Um, the entrance is here. And then we come in, we, it looks like this is one room, this is another room, um, this looks like bathrooms, but it may be a way to get to here, um, which, I don't know if that brought, brings that up or anything, um, but it does look like there are pictures of this, which look like this. And if we look here, there's a button. Then if we come over here, this is like a, a, um, a, like so the side view and the, uh, or the back and front, front and back, yeah, front right there and back over here. And then we can see this, which is this over here. Um, and... <clears throat> so let's take a look here's this one so it looks like we're gonna have to get back through here that's all glass so unless we're gonna be shooting it um, I don't know what else we would do other than um, there must be a way inside um, more of the side shots looks like there's tanks on the top like right here that must be what these are um okay so here's the the whole back shot uh shows like a um uh what are those called the mar m monarchy or the not the monarchy um the thing that has a, a scrolling uh information on it i'm pretty sure i'm saying it close but not not exactly um so then we have the sunlight over here and it shows pictures of the brain box, which is what we've seen before. Now, I gotta wonder, we, we've had a lot happen to us in the game. We've had, um, we've had, we've been caught. Well, we haven't been caught, but we've been found. And it seemed like contracts prior to that point, of course, we were getting money for. But the jobs that we've been doing lately, we haven't been doing, getting money for. So does that mean we're actually stealing um, the vault from the truck for us to support us? Are we, are we stealing this brain as espionage to, um, to learn information about this company and take it, take it down? What is the driving factor of of this whole situation and um i have to believe that we are off the reservation as it were meaning that we are now trying to get back at the company that hired us and and, and essentially found us and tried to kill us like we had we had to we had inf we were privy to too much information and that, that's got to make me wonder. Anyway, there's this picture here, it looks like. It shows that there's the brain box there. There's a data link, Jack, here. And if we look here, <clears throat> this is where the brain box is, right here. Um, and then there, there, there's this tube. I'm wondering if at the top of the tube, because it shows right here, here's the brain box. And then here at the very top of it, is the data jack um if that means that we will have to send the weevil 
into there to to open this then we'll have to use the magnet to retrieve it um okay this is must be important because of the fact that it's showing it so maybe oxygen may be an issue um going into this going up to the satellite like the oxygen is um more compressed or harder to breathe so you lose oxygen um at that point all right and then lastly we have um three pictures over here um that are showing me nothing <laughs> pretty much um what's this what's that no it's not showing me anything that could help me um so i would i say um oh wait a minute um marquee marquee not monarch uh, marquee control panel is what's in that that access tube or this this thing right here that i was pointing out um it says also that this is first class this is where we'll come into there's a restroom and then here's this back section where this access tube is so we might want to check this restroom for an access point to get in or out and then also we have second class here looks like we have a brain box um abby yo yo space elevators just the note on it what's this oh okay <laughs> it's not something we can actually read so let's go ahead and get into the plan observer i think we're not going to do too much in this just because i want to just take a look around and not really do too much as far as prep work. I feel that it, it'd be better just to, um, you know, check it out, see what's going on. Uh, here's our midgy, um, um, uh, dispenser. Okay, so there is an access point in the bathroom. Also, I'm gonna go back here real quick. Go on, close. <laughs> this shows how this is supposed to be used. Does that look like it would be comfortable? I mean, would you use that kind of... T I mean, I guess if there, if it was the only option, where does the poo go? I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Just saying. Um, okay, so this is not a way that we can get in, but maybe it's a way we can get out. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, what's this? Um, see if we can get under it and look at it. Gantry release emergency. In case of emergency, break glass. So, gantry, I'm guessing this is the gantry right here. So, what if it releases it? Does it release it upward? Hmm. Let's do it. Yeah, so it does release it upward. So... I'm saying an aimbot for that. Um, I mean, this table over here looks like the only, only thing we can use it for. Um, I'm guessing this is the same thing. Yeah, same thing. Okay, uh, ramen panadas. Ram, ramen panadas. Okay, um, this literally cannot be open. Okay. Um, let's take a look here and okay there's a thing there ramen empanadas oh let's check the prices here um, miso ramen empanadas 900 um, yen uh, lira um, <laughs> um, um, I forget what the German currency used to be before they all went to euros um, Okay, so we have this opening here, it looks like. We have two data jacks. Okay. And there's a the box there. So we know what we have to do here. We're going to have to put the weevil down. Oh, bother. <laughs> I'm not really worried about it. This is just... Looking through it anyway. Yes, yes, triggered one. Yes, okay. Maybe it's because um, to it's all. So we'll have the weevil connect to this. That's come on, alarm. Come on. 
uh, zero, laser zero one, and this is laser two three. Really? Let's um. All right, let's take a look here. Let's let's do some investigation work here. Uh, put down a camera or cameras, uh, video screens. Um, Weaver connect no um, data jack. Okay, so it is still zero one. It doesn't matter that it says one two. Um, it is still zero one. So data jack zero, data, data jack one. So if we actually did that, it's data jack zero, data jack one. Yeah. So they turn off. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get everything. I'm not really worried about the alarm. Alarm has already gone off. Can I sneak through here since I'm a ghost? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and go up here. Take a picture. Okay. Um, I see this over here. Let's take a look at it. Um, okay. This must be the way out through the bathroom, maybe? I, I would guess. I mean, that's the only place that we've Yeah, there's the bathroom. Okay. All right. So we know that. All right. Let's take a look at what's through here. All right. Um, oh, move the marquee, it said. Okay. Stands it back up. And boom. Okay, so um, we know how that works. Let's go ahead and get out through here. And the next thing is to check out the brain box room. Okay. So we we got onto the gantry. We are going to have to use an, an exit blink command, meaning that we're going to have to do um, blink like three, something that we don't want to mess with until we're ready to go. So it would be like blink three and then um, uh, exit, then aimbot, and then fire, meaning so that way if it's still in Weaver, then it will get out of Weaver, go back into the uh, aimbot, shoot, the gantry goes up to the top, after we've already swung over the uh, the marquee, and um, then we're up here. Let's take a look at the marquee, see if there's anything that we need to know about it. All right. Um, oh, there's an air box uh, or um, oxygen thing there. All right. There's a gate zero or gate two. So let's go ahead and exit Telnet Gate 2 Open 3. That did not do anything because I did it wrong. <laughs> well, at least we're in Telnet now. Um, I put a... I didn't put the, uh, the little marker to say... Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. So that's taken care of. We come down here and we'll drop onto this. Come into here. Here's the brain box. Let's go ahead and take a picture of it. Um, what's that say? Okay, it's just a normal brain box. Um, then we have a data jack up here. There's two oxygen things over here. So will this take... Okay, it looks like it's blowing air upward, right? So will it take a weevil? It will. 
Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put this down. We don't even really need that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do waiver. Um, connect. No. I know, I know it's done. <laughs> um, and data jack zero. Command data jack zero. Uh, connect to that. Okay, what? Oh, exit. Weaver. These are the little things we need to remember. Um, so data jack zero. Okay, that did open that grab that and we're done uh, we need to grab that we need to make sure because I am picky uh, that we go ahead and grab all of our tech there we go that means that once we're done here go back across there come back down here that we need to pick up our aimbot and pick up any cases casings rather not cases and um that's that's pretty much the simple of it right i <laughs> i mean it's not simple it seems like it's gonna be um a little interesting but let's go ahead and do the real deal and see how this goes so we already know um a few things ahead of time um we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight in, straight into it we're gonna go straight into the bathroom we're gonna go ahead and start the saw on that Open that back up. We're going to come over here. Right. Um, and we're going to get behind this counter. And we're going to put on our aimbot. Right. There. Hopefully it'll be nice and easy. Oh. Put it down right. I just. Okay. Cam no, not cameras. But um, monitors. Uh, exit. This is where we're going to have a lot of problems. So, um, uh, aimbot, connect, deploy. Um, connect. <laughs> I did it in the wrong order. Um, okay, so pitch 15, maybe? Close. Um, cam zoom. Five. Ooh, really close. Okay. Turn negative two. Pitch one. Pitch point five. Pitch <laughs> negative point uh, negative one. Um. Let's check our work on that because because we don't want to we don't want to be off we want it to hit the glass okay it's off um it feels weird that it's it's um hitting in that kind of angle that it is uh, on the monitor here okay pitch point uh, negative point two okay that looks perfect Gotta check our work. We're the we do not want to have to get up on there and this not work. So it looks like it's gonna hit. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to hit this before it hits that. Uh, bad thing is, is we can't test it. So um, I think I brought up that we're gonna use a a blink command that is not gonna be easy to access. So we're gonna do blink three exit aimbot fire okay let's go ahead and go down here and check out the weevil which we'll need to test as well um, but hopefully the testing will be easy um eh. yeah I'm, I'm safe okay either way I still need to get down here to put the, the weevil down all right let's get that right there that looks perfect um monitors okay let's get in it so exit weaver connect now 
All right. Um, blink one, wait three. Okay, so this is, okay, I don't need to look at this anymore. I'm gonna look down here. So wait three, this is gonna give me three seconds uh, to get ready to jump out of that hole and get to moving. Um, then we're going to do um, data jack uh, one, uh, zero, zero was first, then one. Uh, wait, one. Um, data jack, data jack, um, one, I don't know why I'm having problems with that, then, um, jump, wait, one, Data Jack, zero, wait, I feel like there's too much weight in this, um, and then Data Jack, one, all right, now, I'm not, I'm not foolhardy, I, I know that things can go wrong, so, perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Holding, holding my control button so I don't jump up. Um, one, two, three. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, okay, we made it, we made it. Um, I don't think I was in any real danger there. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get the weevil. Thank you, buddy. You did your job correctly. And we'll go into there in just a moment. We're just going to go ahead and get this pre-cut. Then we're going to go back over here. All right. What's this say? Warning, delicate control panel overhead. Wait a minute. Delicate control panel overhead, look up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this. Let's go ahead and pitch it down. That is freaky. <laughs> let's move it over. All right. <laughs> this is, oh my goodness. This is nervous, nervous in this now. Okay, so we're gonna go over um, good thing is, I mean, I might be rushing it a little bit, but we we are in no rush. Um, we have not set off any alarms. Um, as far as they, as far as we know, nobody knows we're here. Let's go ahead and get this, get that, and we're gonna go ahead and get outside and get up on the gantry. I don't want to be here on this small metal whenever we go up. All right. Just watch watch my oxygen for me. I know that... Um, okay, so let's go ahead and look up. And one, two, three. Oh, okay. That was, that was fast. Okay, the oxygen is now... Looks like it's going up. We're going, uh, oh, wow, the scrolling thing made me feel like I was going backwards for some reason. Because it's going faster than me. Okay, so oxygen is definitely a, an issue. Um, all right, so we need to make sure we exit. Uh, Telnet. Um, gate to, oh, come on, come on. Gate to dot open three. Um, <laughs> Click it. Got it. Okay, okay, okay. Don't just jump down. Um, get your footing. Oh, okay. We know what we need to do here. Just get him up there. Get our, our box down here. We need to now go to the... What are you doing? What are you... 
it's moving all over the place. Um, exit, Weaver. Data, Jack, zero. It got it. Come on. Let's go ahead and get that. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, oh, wow, our oxygen is low. Well, we knew these were here because of um, because of the fact of research uh, and development and stuff. This still this 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 marquee is uh, giving me a headache. <laughs> Just the way it looks. Okay, so we're coming over here. And we're gonna fall down. We got bionic legs, so we should we go? Oh my god, still does Okay, we're fine, we're fine. That just does not look or feel good <laughs> when we're doing that. Especially if you're afraid of heights. Okay, so Aimbot did well. Did a good job, boy. Uh, let's get that and get. Come on. Get the casing. We were never here. Oh man, this is so much fun. This this um this once we got everything understood, we were able to get through it pretty fast, I thought. Um the casing the joint <laughs> or whatever you want to call it was the hard part. Okay. All right. Let's click it. Shopping expedition. Giant Jimones? <laughs> What's it say? Gigant G Giant Jimones <laughs> or Jones? Jones? Jimones? Jimones. K. So we see old people here drinking soup. Oh, oh, they're having um, yeah, uh, Roman the Roman um. Okay, that's ramen papayas. Yeah, ramen panadas, I guess. We know you. Hey, buddy. Da 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 da. <laughs> we got our ramen with egg and seasoning. Don't want to get hit anybody. Hi, guys. What? What was that? What's going on? Okay. Got plants. It looks like a break uh, or a or something like that. Got all these padlocks. <laughs> this music, this music is perfect. Look at all those pictures. We're old. I saw this picture here. That's what made me look at the mirror. That's amazing. That's us sitting around a table with maybe our children or our family.
Hmm. That's a great picture. Sidearm. And then you have, um, we have us, his older, taking a picture. We have, we have all kinds of cameras up here. It's like a history of everything that we've done. Everything that we've used. Nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety, nineteen ninety six. No job too big, no job too small. Ask for rates, we repair anything. Multi Sims, the auto case, nineteen eighty four, and the nineteen eighty two versions, different versions of uh, Weevil. Here's Nell. He's turned like a darker orange than he used to be. We have Golda, Bean, Smokey, and Nessie. I I feel I feel like we accomplished something. That um that, I mean, we've, we've done everything we could. We got caught once, but we were able to defend ourselves. Um, then we went rogue. And um, it just, I, I feel like the story is complete. I feel that they, they did the job, um, did the the game well by ending it this way by us growing old and because this is this is this is what a lot of us are some of those of us who grew up in the 80s and 90s who had um old computers we we remember those days and now here we are we've done those jobs whenever we were younger as Maisie and and um and Lou and Poncho and now now we're older and we're looking back on what it is that we've done. And it just it feels feels right. I, I feel that I don't feel that that it was it was it I don't feel lost or I don't feel empty by this game ending this way. I mean I'm sad that it's ending but in reality, I'm, I'm just happy that it turned out this way. I see letters here. It looks like um, there are applications. Um, let's see. Regarding your contract work application, I regret to advise you. Now, we were doing contract work when we started. Were we not doing contract work? I mean, is this saying we were not doing contract work? Um, we could, okay. That, at the present, no vacancies. I regret to inform you. I regret that you have not been selected. We will not be offering. We ended up moving with another candidate team. Okay, placed on the short list of candidates. We do not feel your qualifications are suitable for us. We have no job vacancy. We are unable to confirm a position. We are unable to offer you a place in our organization. We're 
unable to offer a contract. We do not have a suitable position available. We regret that we do not have employment opportunities. So all those jobs that we did, were they, were they us? Were they us doing those jobs for our personal gain? Were, are we, are we the bad guys? Are we the good guys? I feel that we are the good guys. I mean, we are, in a way, in a way we're the good guys, either way. Because we were taking down organizations that were doing bad. I, I think. I think. But either way, I, I, f I feel... I feel... I feel fine. I feel... Happy. And... I think that that sums it up right there. That we worked hard. We completed the tasks. We grew old. So, it is it's a good finale. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cypher Dyke. Peace out.